Hi everybody, this is your weekly horoscope for the week starting Monday the 20th of February and going through until Sunday the 26th of February. I hope you had a really wonderful Valentine's week. This week looks uh, a lot more complicated and there are a lot more changes going on in the sky. Now on Monday the 20th of February we've got the Moon in Sagittarius and it trines Mars in Aries, sextiles Mercury in Aquarius and it also conjuncts Saturn in Sagittarius. So Monday is a great day for making future plans and for feeling empowered as a combination of passion and ideas. So this is really the one day of the week where it's a good idea to make changes, to make plans and to take practical action on those plans. Now on Tuesday the 21st of February the moon goes into Capricorn which is an earth sign at 9 minutes past 7 in the morning and that's based on London time. And the moon also sextiles the sun in Pisces. So we, we're seeing a total change of pace here. So we're going from fire and air, which was Monday, with Mars in Aries and Mercury in Aquarius, and now we're going into earth and water. So it's um, rather than passion and ideas, you're now going to be guided by your feelings and that's going to be coupled with practicality. So this is great for intuitives and people who navigate their lives via their own feelings. So it's important for you on this day to really tune in to yourself. Best way to do that is meditation and to really listen to your guidance uh, when it comes to taking actions. If you listen to what feels right, you can't go wrong on Tuesday the 21st. Now on Wednesday the 22nd of February, Mars squares Moon, the Moon rather, and Pluto, okay? And this only happens once every two years, and when it does, it does so twice in that year. So it's going to happen again on the 19th of November. But this is interesting because there's going to be a huge drive to make changes. Resist the urge to make these changes. It's not ideal and could cause you some problems. So if you think about this energy, it's kind of like the Knight of Swords in the Tarot. It's extreme. It's rushing into things, it's over the top, and it's just too much of a good thing, okay? So you will feel like I need to make changes immediately, I need to do it now, but really kind of try and hold back and think about things more clearly. That's the definition of the ego. It's loud, it's urgent, it's telling you to make changes right now, and then a week later you look at it and you're like, oh my God, what have I done, okay? So not the ideal day to make big changes, on Thursday the 23rd of February we've got the moon going into Aquarius now at 18 minutes past 5 in the afternoon and Mercury in Aquarius sextile Saturn in Sagittarius. So we're going back to ideas and inspiration here although the path before you may seem a little bit more fuzzy than usual and again it's not the ideal kind of energy or scenario to make big changes because you don't really know what you're getting yourself into. So that's the big thing about this week really, except Monday, which is clear, and which is kind of a throwback to last week. Most of this week is really kind of tricky, and there are potential pitfalls, and it's really important to kind of consider things for a little bit longer than your kind of urgent ideas are telling you to, to um, think about. And they're just gonna say, make change, make change, take action now, it's urgent, 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 okay? So just kind of try and hold back a little bit and think things through much more carefully and clearly, and if you do that, you're not going to have as many issues. Now, on Friday the 24th, this is one of the better days of the week. We've got the moon in Aquarius, and that sextiles Venus and Mars in Aries. Venus is the archetypal female principle, Mars is the archetypal male, when these two come together, they create something new. And the moon in Aquarius is really very intellectual. So you're sharp as a knife on this day. Ideas and creativity are flowing freely. It's best used in the creative areas of your life to kind of create some new work of art or piece of writing. It's not as good, just like the other days, when it comes to making plans, as the energy is still somewhat extreme and you're overly driven. So there's a lot of kind of aggression and drive and urgency involved in this week. And you know, when you go barging into a situation, other people can kind of be put off a little bit by that, or it seems a little bit extreme and um, over the top, okay? 
Now, Saturday the 25th of February, Mercury, the communication planet, goes into Pisces and the Moon conjuncts Mercury in Pisces. So, this is another wonderful day for intuitives, mediums, channels, anyone who does that kind of emotional intuitive work. Feelings are heightened and you're going to be more sensitive than usual. So, that's great for the intuitive types and people who navigate their lives through their feelings. But the important thing to be aware of here is to beware of addictions or other compulsive behaviors, which some people are kind of prone to, especially when there are a lot of feelings floating around, because some people don't particularly enjoy feeling their feelings. And when that comes up, they're like, they reach for something that will shut that down a little bit. Okay, so yes, it's good for um, really tuning in. But if there are uncomfortable feelings or things that you don't really want to face, they're going to appear as well. So you can't pick and choose. Now, on Sunday, the 26th of February, this emotional arc goes even higher because we've got the new moon in Pisces. And the moon goes into Pisces at 25 minutes past midnight. We then have the new moon solar eclipse in Pisces at 2.59 in the afternoon and Mars also conjuncts Uranus and Aries. Now there will be a separate video on the new moon solar eclipse but basically what happens is that um, the emotions become really really strong um, and anything that you try and suppress is going to jump out of its box and it's going to become apparent and it's going to become um, a presence in your kind of emotional world okay so if you're in denial if you're not facing what's going on in your life you're kind of going to be forced to face things but this is a good thing because it's an eclipse and this eclipse is on the south node which is about releasing things so you know if you want to solve a problem you first have to identify the problem and the identification process comes by all of these feelings coming up so it's important to actually look at what's going on and what the problem is and that south node then is almost like a drain. You can take all of those emotional things and you can flush them down the tube, okay? You can get rid of them. So it's not just that these emotions are coming up, coming up, coming up, and then they're with you. You've got to kind of just sit with them and feel them. No, the eclipse is a good thing because you're able to dump all of those feelings, especially negative ones, and really release faulty and negative beliefs. So. The uh, eclipse allows for this emotional detox and for letting go. And it's also good for letting go and becoming aware of addictions or compulsive behaviors that you may have and also being able to do something about them, kind of letting them go. So if you're someone who works at the Priory, you might be getting more calls on this day because more people will realize that they actually do have an issue than they would at other times. So. What also happens on this day with Mars conjuncting Uranus and Aries is that you'll be motivated to take action. So yes, the emotions are really strong, but you're going to be motivated to kind of dump them in a way to let go of them and to really kind of free yourself of all this emotional baggage that you're carrying around. So it is a complicated week in a way. Monday is the easiest day in terms of actually doing things. Um, for the rest of the time, we kind of have to be a little bit careful not to barge into things and rush into things that seem ideal and that seem very urgent. And then later on in the week, it's all about the emotional side of things. So again, I know I said this already, but if you're someone who struggles with feeling their feelings, really be careful about that. And a good way of um, kind of keeping an emotional balance is to do things like meditation. That's going to kind of prevent you from being swept away by all these feelings. Yes, they will still come up if you have a kind of clear mind and if you have decluttered that in a way, then you can see what comes up, see what's good and what isn't so good. And then on Sunday with this eclipse, you have the opportunity to let it go. So I hope you have a wonderful week. If you would like a private reading with me, please get in touch via the website. It's gregoryscott.com. Just click on the readings tab to order your reading with me. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll speak to you next week.